Testimony is now over the case of a Detroit police officer on trial. Now we're waiting to see what the jury decides about the death of little Ayanna Jones. Let's go live downtown to 7 Action News reporter Kim Craig. Kim, Officer Joseph Weekly certainly gave some gripping testimony today, taking the stand in his own defense. He really did, Joanne. Everybody was in that courtroom and glued to his testimony. And he maintains that the only reason he fired his gun is because Ayanna's grandmother hit it. And he also choked up on the stand when talking about his family and SRT. Officer Weekly, you, you, you seem a bit emotional today. Are you feeling emotional? Yeah. Not long after Joseph Weekly's defense attorney asked the veteran cop about his family at work, the special response team, and his wife and kids at home, a juror appeared to wipe away a tear. And Steve Fishman asked Weekly about being called back to work to search for a murder suspect. I was at the park. Who were you with? My kids. Weekly's defense attorney even asked about SWAT for Tots, an organization Weekly founded. Uh, it was just a way that I felt we could have our team included and, and get involved in the community a little bit by having a Christmas party for some foster kids. Were those city kids? Yeah. Then within minutes, Weekly was asked about the raid in which he pulled the trigger on his MP5 submachine gun, firing the bullet that killed Ayanna. She was sleeping on the couch under her hand, a Montana blanket. But Weekly says it just looked like a pile of clothes when they stormed through the door, and then he heard the flashbang or stun grenade. As soon as the bang goes off, I hear a ha ah! coming from underneath what I thought was laundry. And so now I'm like... There's, there's somebody hiding under here. Ayana's grandmother denies ever coming into contact with Weekly or his gun. Weekly said he didn't even realize he had fired. This weapon, the MP5, is designed in a way that it stays on target, so it's, it's almost like shooting a pellet gun. It's poof, poof, poof. It really doesn't rise. But on cross-examination, the prosecution challenged Weekly's version of events and how such a highly trained officer could lose control of his weapon. So it's your gun, correct? <coughs> yes, sir. You had control of the gun, correct? Mm, at which point, sir? That night, it's your gun, correct? It is my gun, sir, yes. Okay, and it's your responsibility to have control over that gun, isn't it? It is my responsibility to have control over my weapon, yes. Okay. And your gun is the one that fired the bullet that killed Ion, right? My bullet, my gun, shot and killed a seven-year-old girl, yes. Okay. You have two hands on the gun. How was it she hit your gun? I, I'm, can you explain that to me? Can I show you? No, just tell me how she hit the gun. Okay, uh, she hit it in a downward motion. Her head was kind of down, she had some sort of braids or something, because I, I remember seeing that, the, the braids. Okay, just the top of the head, she's kind of covered, draped with the cheek, and she hits it down. As she hits it down, I start to pull it back. I hear the shot, and I immediately go. And Officer Weekly says his focus actually went to a male relative of Ayanna's who they saw standing near a bedroom because he says that is who he thought fired the shot, not realizing it was his own gun. And in the prosecution's closing argument, they all but called Officer Weekly a liar. We'll have that part of our story coming up at 6. Joanne, back to you. Uh, Kim, other than the, the one juror that you saw wiping away what appeared to be a tear today, have you noticed any other reactions from them during this? No, I have not. That was the only th emotion really throughout this whole trial that I ever saw from them that we even noticed, I should say. They have to be feeling some emotion. You have to imagine it's a very emotional case. But I will say they have been laser focused on what the defense and the prosecution is saying. Back to you. It'll be their turn now. Kim, thank you so much. The judge will give instructions to jurors tomorrow morning. And we're told they will only consider the lesser charge if they find weekly not guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Now, that lesser charge is careless discharge of a firearm causing death. And count on 7 Action News and WXYZ.com for the newest information in the officer on trial. You can download our app right now to stay on top of all of the developments as they happen.